I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll consider another important concept of algebra. That is to understand what are rational numbers and how do we write repeating decimal numbers as rational numbers. As you know, rational numbers are of the form p over q, where q is not equal to zero. That means like fractions, we can write all the numbers, and the numbers which we can write like this are rational numbers. Numbers which we cannot write like this will be irrational numbers. Clear? So the question for you is, write the following repeating decimals as rational numbers. So, repeating decimals are rational numbers. We are going to understand a strategy. How do we write them in the form of p over q, where q is not equal to 0? So, I have taken four examples here. 0 0.3333 repeating, 0 0.272727 repeating, and this can also be written with this notation, a bar on the top. So, this bar on the top signify that 673 repeats. So, this number is kind of 673, 673, 673 after decimal. You get the idea. Similarly, question number 4, 1.7373 being repeated is 1.7373737373 and so on. I'd like you to pause the video at this stage, answer this question and also figure out a strategy. How could you do this in less than a minute? You get the idea. Perfect. So once again, non-repeating, non-terminating decimal numbers are not rational numbers. To give you an idea, square root of 2. So all these radicals, which are not of perfect squares, they are not rational numbers. The number pi, e, these numbers are irrational. Since they cannot be written in the form of p over q, you get the idea. Now, let us see how do we write these numbers in the form of p over q, beginning with question number one. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. <laughs> Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now, many of you would have got this answer and that is why I have written this number here, 0 0.3333 recurring, which I could also write as 0 0.3 recurring, which is 1 over 3. 3. So, if you check value of 1 over 3 on your calculators, you will see 0 0.333 recurring. Correct? But how do we get this? Is This is what we should know. Once we know that, we can actually write any repeating decimal number as a rational number. Perfect. So, let's look into the method of doing so. So, we don't know what is this rational number representing 0 0.3333 repeating. So, let that number be x. We say let x be equal to 0 0.3333 repeating. Correct. Now, in that case, what will be the value of 10 times x? Now, if I multiply this by 10, decimal moves and what I get is something like this. Correct. There are infinite threes, so we can just keep on adding them. Okay. Does that give you a hint? Well, if I subtract one from the other, that means if I do 10x minus x, what do I get? If I do 10x minus x, in that case, I will get 3.0, correct? Because all the numbers after decimal cancels off. 
So, we get a natural number there on the top. Perfect. And this is what? This is 9x is equal to 3. Right? So, now you can isolate and find what x is. So, definitely x is equal to 3 over 9. And this can be simplified and we get x is equal to 1 over 3. Makes sense? That is how we get this particular answer. So, as an exercise, what you can do is try, let me write here question 1b, try the number 0. Point, let's say 7777b, correct. What do you get as your answer? Follow these steps and practice. Perfect. So, you will get your answer. See here, when we are talking about 3, we got 3 over 9 as the answer. Now, let's do the second question. This time, I made it slightly difficult for you. Instead of just one thing repeating, now we have 0 0.272727 repeating. So, question number 2. Let's try to simplify and get this solution now. Well, we'll follow the same procedure. Let x be equal to 0 0.272727 repeating. Okay. Now, the trick was, after decimal, we should get the same set of numbers. Now, in this case, you have to move decimal by two places, and therefore, we multiply this by 100. So, what is 100x equals to? That will be 27.272727, repeating, correct? Makes sense. Now, if I do 100x minus x, I get just 27 which is 99 x equals to 27. You get the idea. Now again, we can isolate just as we did earlier. We get x as 27 over 99. So that becomes our answer for this rational number. Make sense? Well, as an exercise, now you can do question 2b. Let us say the number for you is x equals to 0. Point, let's say 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, repeating, correct. Can you do this one? Perfect. Here is question number 3. The added information here is an additional digit after decimal, which is getting repeated. So, this time, I have a number, which is 0. 0.673, repeating. Can you pause the video and answer this particular question? Well, let's look into this solution now. We have x equals to 0 0.673, repeating, right? So, basically, it means what you understand is 0 0.673, 0.673, 0 0.673, repeating, correct? That is a way of writing the bar on the top, means this set of numbers, repeat. Now, since there are three numbers repeating, I will multiply this by 1000. You got it. And so, I should get 673.673 repeating, correct? And this time, if I subtract, then I do 1000x minus x is equal to 673. Perfect. And that is triple nine. x is 673. And so, we get our solution which is x is equal to 673 over triple 9. Do you see a trend in the way we are getting our solutions? I think you do. And therefore, you could easily write down the answer for 3b, which is you need to find the value of x if x is equal to 0 0.123 repeating. Correct. So, that brings us to the last question. I just made a minor change here to give you the complete variety of questions on this particular topic. So, this time we have x is equal to 1.73 repeating. How will you write this as a rational number? Well, because 73 is being repeated, I should do 100 times. So, we follow the same strategy and we say 100x is equal to 173. 0.73 repeating and therefore subtracting we will get what 
99x will be 173 minus 1. You get the idea because of this one. And so we get 99x is equal to 172. And in this case, the solution is x is equal to 172 over 99. Makes sense. Do you see that? So what we did was when we subtract here, 100 minus x is 99, but 173 minus 1 is 172. The numbers after decimal do get cancelled and we get our result. Perfect. So the last question for you to try is question 4b. If x is equal to, let us say, 324, repeating, in that case, how you can write this as a rational number? You should simplify the end result because rational numbers do not have common factors in numerator and denominator. Okay, so that is how we understand writing, repeating, decimals as rational numbers. I hope this process is absolutely clear and you also have an idea of how do we get the result immediately, right? For example, you have noticed that in this case the result was what? It was 27 over 99. In this case the result was 3 over 9 but we reduce it to 1 over 3, right? And here it was 673 over triple nine. Very makes sense. Now, what was the result here? Figure it out, a general answer, so that you could answer this in less than a minute. Perfect. So, in case you really want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. I hope you have understood the whole process. Feel free to share your comments and suggestions. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.